Hi guys, today I'll be showing you how to test any Mac app for free before you decide to purchase it. Before we begin, I would like to make things clear that this is just for testing purposes only. The reason why I show you this video is because I don't want you to make a wrong decision buying a Mac app that is not worth your money. Because sometimes with only free trials is not enough to decide if an app is worth buying. But with this method that I'm about to show you, you can test any Mac app with full access. However, this is the most important part. If after testing the app, you find that the app is useful, please purchase it genuinely from its official website. I will not take any responsibility if you continue to use the pirated version of the Mac apps you have tested. Okay, with that out of the way, let's get started. So there are two websites that you can download Mac apps for testing. You can go to nmac.2 here or MacTorrents.io. Simple to download any app. Let's say you want to download the first one here. Click on it, scroll down, and there are lots of sources to download. You can choose the upload it, Turbo Bit or Nitro Flare and so on. I usually prefer let's upload here at the bottom and you will see the download link. I prefer this because it usually works better than other link. Of course, you will see annoying pop-up ads, but just quit it. And when you download, you have to be patient as well. Like when you click here, it won't allow you to download yet. But you have to let it run like this. And you go back to this, click download again. Click one more time. If you allow it to download, click allow. We we'll start downloading. And when you double click on it, you agree. This is time to install it. This is an important part as well. Usually after you have downloaded the app that you want to test, usually when you install it, you drag into application folders. And when you try to open it, Sometimes you say like can't be open because it is from unidentified developer but sometimes it will just say move the trash because Apple only allows apps that are downloaded directly from the App Store to run on the Mac. You download it from a third party source like from Safari or something, it won't allow you to open. Some they allow you to open but most of them you cannot open if you go to system preferences, security and privacy. And you can see down here, allow apps downloaded from. You can see only two sources that it allows the app to be able to open or run properly on the Mac. One is from App Store, the other one is from App Store and identify developers, not the third party applications. So if it allows you to run, it's fine. But like I said, mostly it won't allow you to open. Then you have to go to terminal, go to spotlight search by clicking command space, type in terminal, click enter. When you're here, make it bigger so what you do here is you type in this code it will allow you to run the third-party applications on your Mac just type in sudo space SPCTL space dash dash master dash disable click enter and you type in your administrative password click enter and you're done and if you go to system preferences again, security and privacy, you can see now they have new option anywhere, which means any apps downloaded from anywhere, you can still run it properly on the Mac. And then you can test the app that you want. And if you like it, like I said, please purchase it genuinely if you like the app. Don't continue using the pirated apps. Again, this source as well, Mac Torrent. You can go to it to check for the detail before you start deciding to test it or download it, like this one. Here you can see the description, how to use it, the screenshot. And if you decided you want to test this app, you can click download here. But I would recommend you to go back and click the word download it here. You click from the outside, it, I don't know, for some reason it works better. This is .torrent, which means you need to have a torrent app to be able to download this app. So it will link directly to torrent. But for me, I use an app called Fox. This one, it works like torrent. And you just download it. And we start downloading. Again, like I said, you can test any apps you want. They all become free, but only for testing. And please purchase it genuinely after you've tested the app. You can even find Final Cut Pro. Let's say you want to buy the Final Cut Pro, but the price in the App Store 
it's too expensive. If you search for Final Cut Pro, here, you can see the price there, it's $300. So this is a very expensive decision that you have to make. And you don't know if this app is good to use. So why don't you just test it first, try this. And then if you like it, you think it's very useful, then you can just go back and purchase it genuinely from the app store. Okay, that's it guys. This is how you can test any Mac apps for free before you decide to purchase it. Thank you so much for watching. If you like the video, please give us a thumbs up, comment down below and subscribe for more useful videos in the future. Have a great day guys. See you in the next video.